Hello everyone, this is the third part of the video tutorial about the templated components. And in this episode, I'm going to cover the usage of this render fragment with a generic typed parameter. The most common usage of this is to use this templated component as a repeater. And there's actually another way to use it. I'm going to cover both ways and let's start with the repeater concept. So let's imagine you have a list of customers. You want to render this list of customers repeatedly following a custom template. And if we try to write a kind of element out, it may look like this. So you want to feed the customers to the repeater component like this. Customers. And then within this, you want to repeatedly render each customer and you want to provide a template for each customer. And that template can look in your own way. So let's say you want the customers uh, company name first and then with the indentation you want the customer uh, contact name and after that you want to see the customer's uh, phone number and obviously this is a template and this template is going to be repeatedly rendered as many times as the number of the customers in the list so um, laser templated component provide us a convenient way to do this. And let's jump into Visual Studio and look at how we would render this kind of, how we would create this kind of component in laser. So I have a, uh, so this project I just created, it's a, a web assembly um, project. It'd be very similar to create the same thing in laser server side but this time let's try web assembly uh, <clears throat> let's create a new folder let's call it controls as usual i like to call components controls the non-page component controls and uh, let's create a component and just call it repeater First, it's a generic type to temporary components. It needs to uh, have a parameter that holds the data. Right? So let's create a parameter first to host the data. And that data is of a generic type. And it's a list, right? So it is a generic type. And let's, <coughs> and let's call this T item. And that uh, we call it items. And this, you see, it's giving an error because we need to actually say typo parameter is T item. And this will make the error go away. It's a generic type, meaning that you can pass in whatever type you want. So uh, generic in C sharp is actually a convenient way to use type as a parameter so we want to render the uh, items one by one so we need to do a loop okay and so we say item in the items <coughs> and uh, here we want to render the template that the user provided so we need to provide a template parameter so create a parameter again and then here is a render fragment but it's not this uh, render fragment without the uh, the type so it has to be this one with the generic type and it's with the generic type uh, t item that we used just now and then here we give it a name so let's call this the um the row right because we are rendering the one by one as we're running rows of of uh of something so 
<coughs> here we can say sorry at row but we can't just do this it's not gonna render the item we have to use it sort of like a function and we provide the uh, the item here we feed the item here we're telling the uh, the row template that this is the item that we're dealing with right now and then at the when we use it let's say we want to use it here uh, we are going to import the namespace first uh, controls so once we have it uh, we're going to the index component and let's delete this add some uh, line bricks and then here we're gonna use the repeater component and uh, notice that it has an items uh, parameter here um, but we are going to create uh, some data here so I have prepared something let's so we have the customer here and then let's initialize it from uh, from the uh, initialize let's override the uh, initialize method and then so now we have a list of customers and we populated the, the values of the customers and uh, we can provide the items here so then we need to provide the row template so when we go over here we can say row and uh <clears throat> like we just did in in here we wanted to uh, use customer company name customer contact name customer phone number and the way to do it is to say hey we are in the context of the current customer right so we give it a context name and then here we are going to implement exactly the same thing as um, as we planned we want to have the company name and then some indentations and uh, with the contact name and phone number like this but we want an indentation and uh, we are using the default template comes with bootstrap css uh, so we can add the left margin so it's margin left uh, is let's add five make a little bit bigger so that it's noticeable and uh, yeah so we have phone number contact name phone number company and that's i believe that's what we planned and let's build this project the the uh, web assembly you have to build it I don't see a way to just refresh uh, as in server side blazer so let's refresh and then let's go here and you see the uh, companies are sorry the customers are rendered like we planned and let's give it a little bit uh, clearer uh, formatting so let's have a line break between each customer and let's um, highlight the name of the company so that we can see a better format and uh, you see if I just refresh it would not pick up the changes and if I build it it will so this is a difference one of the differences between uh, blazer side uh, server side blazer and uh, client side blazer so now I pick up all of the changes that I have this is the, the first way and it's the main way to use a generic type uh, uh, template component and if, usually a repeater also comes with a header and a footer right and uh, I would implement that as well so that we would have a render fragment without the uh, generic type and I would call it header right and I would have another one here we call the footer and if you want to put something as a header or footer you can use it and in our case let's use the header today um, and in the header I just want to let's say we just give it a title 
with h2 and let's say this is customers and render this right over here um, you see because we are giving the user the control of the template so we don't want to add a div anything around this header or in between because that will interfere with uh, the user's uh, uh, control so now i have the customer right here and I have all of this and if we want we can add some margin over here as well but just... so that's everything i want to cover for today uh, if you like my video please give it a like and uh, subscribe and i'll see you in future videos thank you